Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my Sims people. Welcome to my Sims Entertainment channel. This is where we do speed builds and let's plays. Come have some fun, watch some drama, get inspired. Let's play. Hello, my fellow Simmas. So it looks like our Sims have aged up and our kids are teenagers and we're giving them some pretty big sweet 16 presents dante is getting his own apartment in the backyard uh i've spoken about this a few times on this um platform and i've said that i wanted this start a home family to be an expanded kind of family and this is really the first major expansion that I will be making to their home. And it's with Dante getting uh, his own apartment in the backyard. It's not that big, it's gonna be a container house. Um, I wanted it to be very small, very doable. And I'm also gonna be expanding on his house as he gets older, because right now it's very bachelor pad, teenage -y. Also, I do intend on moving them out of the house. I don't know who, which one's gonna get to keep the house um, when the parents pass on or whatever, but um, I do intend on them leaving the nest for a little bit. Uh, I didn't want to make it too big. I just wanted something really cute, something really small that he can just do his basics as a teenager and get as many skills as he can. Um, my goal for Dante was to make him uh, more of like a flirt, more the fun kind of, um, always with friends kind of one. And my goal for Rai Rai was to have her be the more studious ones. But as Sims go, we'll see if that even happens. They have minds of their own, um, and they really do decide on whatever they want to do. For his apartment, I wanted to have it, I wanted a more... I did want it to be more masculine, but I also want it to be uh, very clean. I didn't want too many like bright colors or whatever. I took forever figuring out what I wanted for his flooring. So he basically has a one bedroom because it's more of a studio kind of apartment. And I wanted him to have a deck and have an outside. We don't, I didn't realize until I was building this that I don't have a barbecue grill in their house. So I kind of wanted a little deck area where the family can hang out. Um, and then when it comes a certain time, Dante can like kick them out and be like, yeah, time to go. So that's really what I wanted to accomplish with this. And for them to really enjoy the backyard, the most they've ever done in the backyard so far is um, they... Uh, plant and uh, that's it but they have a really big backyard and i want them to be able to use it to the, its fullest potential i wanted his bathroom to be really simple so i just put in a little shower and um a tiny a tiny living sink in there to make it doable um and his bedroom was going to be this is going to be his bedroom it's going to be just big enough to fit his bed and not too much extras uh so i do have to <laughs> address the elephants in the room how is it last time we were playing we were planning the kids birthday party and all of a sudden they're grown so what happened is i kind of played uh, um genevieve's game a little bit and i didn't realize i knew this in the back of my head but i just when i was playing didn't realize that when i play genevieve's game the kids in this game are also aging up and it turns out that i played her game for long enough that the kids i missed their birthday parties i missed their aging up and i could have went back and mcm command and made them kids and had the birthday party but whatever but i was just like i kind of like them as teenagers and we might as well let it roll you know sometimes you're gonna miss things uh sometimes i'm gonna do things off screen that you guys aren't always gonna see but no one technically no one missed the birthday because i wasn't there either i didn't see them age up i came one day and they were big beautiful teenagers and i did a little uh cast I did a little cast redecoration, redecoration. I did a little cast makeover for them. 
Uh, if you want to see that, let me know in the comments and I can definitely upload it. Uh, but they're so beautiful, they're so cute. I know in this one, I don't think you get to see them um, much. So this is basically his little living room area. I wanted him to, you know, have space where he can hang out and do work. I kind of, I wanted, I initially wanted to put a desk in there so he can like do his homework. But it really wasn't working out and I didn't want to make the trailer any bigger than it actually is. Um, I liked the size of it so I was just like, I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a little barbecue situation on his deck and to do barbecue you need your little side table to prepare your meals or put your meals on. I put all that outside of his house because I'm definitely going to be locking his doors. Uh, when he gets a little older from parents like people can't just be busted into his house and y'all know mom and dad have no behavior so yeah that's it but this is his apartment I think it's so adorable and then as usual I forget something I forgot to put lights in there when I was done building it and then I forgot to put staircases on the platform so we can actually reach um, I'm gonna do a little more decoration of like the plants uh, how it is around his house but I was also thinking of moving them to the front of the property as opposed to having them in the backyard and like maybe put in a pool if we have enough money but we'll see his this little apartment that I built in the back built in the back for him came up to a grand total of um, it's about five thousand dollars I paid to have his apartment in the back so that's it uh this is his apartment and yeah i forgot to put in lights so we're just gonna do this and that was his sweet 16th birthday present very lucky children i tell you we spent all our money doing this um but before i started to build his apartment riley got her present first she also got a makeover um for her room because riley's staying in the inside uh so let's talk about riley's present <laughs> she what made the decision for riley to stay in the house as opposed to leaving uh was really simple she got a very expensive birthday present and no it wasn't her how her room makeover which also cost a little bit of cash Riley's gift from her parents was what we see in the backyard right here. Ry Ry got a rocket. <laughs> and that rocket was also five grand. So after her very expensive birthday present, she was gonna keep the room. <laughs> All right, we're gonna spruce it up and make it a little cuter for her. Um, I definitely took out the bunk beds. No 16 year old needs a bunk bed in her room. And I touched up her bathroom as well. Uh, I wanted her room to be extremely girly. So I did the extremely girly thing and made it pink. <laughs> I j it just feels like something that uh, Riley would like and appreciate a pink room. So um, after Dante's very after Riley's rocket and then Dante's um apartment I needed to find money to finance making Riley's room and a lot of it came from selling what was already in our household inventory and then really selling off any toys and school projects that <laughs> I know I said you're gonna use it to decorate around the house but I don't really think they care about it at this point. Um so yeah they, she traded up to a double bed because ain't nobody going through that twin situation as a teenager. They have life experiences to go through here, people. Um, that's what we're going to do. That's what we did for her. And <clears throat> yeah, I pretty much changed the wall colors for her as well. I didn't. This was very childish. The the original color so I just wanted her to have a nice simple pink and I was trying to change the curtain but like I think I did it with um, testing sheets and then did BB dot move objects on 
and uh, for their house specifically because I'm going to be using it regularly and they're always going to be there I like to know that they can use everything in it so I genuine I generally try not to build houses with BB move objects because I don't want it to be a situation where she can't get to her bed or something like that so I just didn't do it um, and I just didn't do it to do her room yeah so I didn't give her a television but I did give her uh, a little bit of decorative stuff to get her room all nice and ready um, yeah this is what we uh, and I, when I came into the game she was very much and she had already gained a painting skill so it looks like Riley and Daryl Riley's walking in Daryl's footsteps to be an artist doesn't necessarily mean that's what she's gonna be but we're definitely going to increase those skills and I wanted to because that painting on the window I had never seen it before so I'm almost sure she is the one who put it there uh, so I left it there um, yeah, and this build, both her room and the new expanded house, is uh, the expansion to the house, is in the gallery if you want it. And if you want to put it in your game, you don't necessarily have to make it up. Like, it could be anything, really. Um, you don't have to have a four person household for this. So, yeah, this is basically Riley's room. And this is me selling everything that they don't need. Yeah, and you can get this in the gallery. This is my username, Rui G, R-U-E-Y-G. And because I haven't been on here in a very long time, I also put a bonus build in the gallery. This is a restaurant called Rosie Secrets. 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 Um, I built it. Uh, I built it last year really when everything was getting shut down and we were in the midst of covid i was playing a lot of sims that's way before i started the channel and i wanted somewhere nice in their world where they can go and have a really romantic dinner and i love this place the highlight of it is really the garden in the back um i have a cute little almost japanese style um garden in the back there with them and uh, it's not very unique to this game as in the Morrisons but it is something that I wanted to put in and I posted it on the gallery um, there's one note that I'm gonna say is after I, I always had it in my build but when I posted it on the gallery the top floor shrank down to like regular foundation you should definitely open that up to the largest foundation and then everything will be fine um, I don't know why it did that after it uploaded to the gallery. And my couple from the intros that you always see, that is where they got engaged. This is the inside of Rosie's. You have your first floor that's um, the dining area. It has a sunroof that kind of is at the bottom of a balcony deck. And yeah, this is me trying to climb stairs. Really sad. Um, yeah. This is basically your balcony deck. So it's a really good place for spring, summer, and fall. And yeah, you can also get it at the gallery. Uh, R-U-E-Y-G, Louie G. Check it out. Thanks for watching this video, y'all.